You think Einstein walked around thinking everyone was a bunch of dumb shits? So. Where, where are you from originally? Uh, I'm from Wilmington, Delaware. Wilmington, Delaware. I don't, I don't know many people from Delaware. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you look stunning. Oh, thank you. You really do. You look gorgeous. It's a beautiful dress. This old thing? Yeah. <laughs> Stop doing that. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Yep. No. No, no yep is not the correct oh, response. Oh, Thanks for being here. Yep. Uh... <laughs> You don't want to, now first of all, do you not want to be here? No, I want to be here, I'm right. so glad. But you, you said you don't understand why you are here. No, well, I don't, no, I do. I, please see the movie. <laughs> see, I don't want to talk about those movies, though. What do you want to talk about? Let's talk about the heat, Dave. It's so hot, so <laughs> damn hot out there. <laughs> now, Aubrey, we have a clip I think we'd like to show people. Why don't you tell them what the clip is? Okay, this clip is uh, from the film. And I'm t terrible at uh, speaking. Um, and I'm, uh, it's a real, a real guy wrote the, wrote the clip and he's in, in the movie. It's funny that I can't talk. No, I know. It's nerves. <laughs> Doing research for the show, I got to see not only uh, most, if not all your films, but um, e. a lot of talk show appearances. My finest work. <laughs> well, you say, you say that you're the worst talk show guest ever. Have you, you watched you believe them that? all? Yeah. But, I, you know, I, I watch them and I go, okay, is that performance art or is it, um, did it start with nerves and turn into performance art? I don't know what it is. I don't know. I have, I have no plan. I never have a plan when I go on those shows. Like, those kind of situations go against, like, every instinct in my body to, like, retell a story and act like it's the first time I've told it. Right. It does often look rehearsed or it does look like there was some sort of conference before where... Well, it, there is. Yeah, there's well, like a pre-interview. I know. That's, that's why it always is weird for me because I have those pre-interviews so I know what we're going to talk about and it's so hard for me to like do... to like just do that. I end up like just derailing it. Did you think about that when you were shooting that movie, what you would do in a zombie apocalypse? Um, no. I didn't, but I... Okay, next question. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you know, I did it for myself. I don't know why I did it. I'm sorry. Next question. <laughs> nope, they're all about that speech. Okay. <laughs> um, I, don't, I don't really know. I'm just lying. I don't know. Um, and You're just lying about your lies. sister. Yeah, just it's lies. all lies. Do you have a sister? Do you have any sisters? No. No sisters. <laughs> I think we should say to people who don't know that there's no pre-interview here. Yeah. There's, there isn't. No. I had no idea what was going to happen. You don't even know where you were. I don't know where I am. <laughs> it's true. Um, Most of the time. So, like, can you tell when you're making someone else uncomfortable? No. You can't? <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I mean, if I could, I don't think I would. I mean, I'd, I don't ever want to make anyone feel uncomfortable. I feel terrified every time I do You do? It. Oh, my God. I, like, want to die every time I do it. And is it the live audience? It's like that thing, everything's live? I just live don't like and... being my... I just... I'm more comfortable, you know, working and right. being... You know, even doing stand-up is different because... Even though I only did it for a little bit, but, like, I was not being myself, you know? I was, like, being a persona, kind of, like, a heightened version of myself. And I just always have this, like, existential crisis whenever I go on those shows because, like, it's so weird to just try to just be yourself when you like have no idea how to do that. Your Twitter handle is evil hag. Speaking of witchy <laughs> presence, your Twitter handle is evil hag. Why evil hag? Because I like it. Um, I don't know, because why? <laughs> Sorry. Um. Why do I feel like you're my daughter and I... <laughs> And I'm like, we've got to talk about this report card. <laughs> Whatever. I like it. In my mind, I'm like, none of these people care about what I did over the summer. Like, I just, I can't get over the idea of it. But I like doing it. It's fun. I try to have fun with it because it's funny. And I always think about, well, like, my 12-year-old, like, self would think this is, like, hilarious that right. I'm like being allowed to go on like television yeah <laughs> so I just try to remember that and then you try I try to honor her yeah I just try to have fun with it and not take it too seriously because I just the, the minute that I like really 
get wrapped up in that and think like, oh, I, like this is like what I need to say or this is whatever, like it's over. Please welcome Aubrey Plaza. Have you on? Me too. I love you. Oh, I love you too. Oh, I'm a big I fan. Love you too. First question, obviously, do you do your own stunts? Did yes. You? No. <laughs> One yeah. of the things I like about you is you yeah. look like you have a secret all the time. I was just actually thinking back there that I have a secret. <laughs> and I, that I shouldn't tell anybody. <laughs> and I'm not going to do it. Because we, we, uh, <laughs> because we wouldn't like the secret that you have? I don't know. I'm just saying. I don't, I don't know. I don't have... Your I secret don't is that there's no actual secret. That's exactly. Wow. I, I have nothing uh -huh. is uh -huh. going on up there. <laughs> up there, well, come on. I don't know. I mean, what? I have no idea. <laughs> you look dangerous. I'm sorry. I can't You do. Help you, it. do you, have you ever tell me that before? That you look kind of like a dangerous person? Yes. Yeah, really? sure. I well, mean... what do you speak? <laughs> a little bit of Latin. That's like a lot. Latin? Yeah. Where did. Okay. <laughs> Agricola in Gallia Est. Okay, I don't remember that, but. Um... <laughs> but I didn't want to do it, but the studio basically called us in the middle of the shoot and said, you know what? We're going to end this movie in a musical number. Um, yeah, so you you can't <laughs> dance at all. Have you ever, I mean, did you try, have you tried to dance in the past? Have you had any training in dance? Well, same question while we were rehearsing, because I was always asking her, like, hey, like, what do you do with your arms, like, when you're doing the moves with your feet? Um, and she was like, what are you talking about? I was like, but what do you do with your arms? And then she was like, haven't you ever danced before? And I was like, you know what? I just remembered that when I was a kid, I, I competed in Irish dancing. Competitions, river dance. That, that Irish dancing where your legs go straight out. Yes. And your arms just stay at your side. Yes. <laughs> yes, which is like, which was a very, like, it was an existential moment I had where I realized, like, oh, that's probably why I'm so awkward and weird is because I was taught at a young age to have no expression and not move my that's arms. That's the thing. <laughs> Being 100% Irish, I can say we have the worst dancing because well, our arms are straight by our side, our yeah. feet are shooting out in front of us, and our faces are just supposed to be like this the whole time. <laughs> I know. Horrible. It was, I know. And I told her that, and she was like, oh, my God, your entire life makes sense to me now. <laughs> Guest is a uh, talented, a very funny uh, woman who will be seen in the seventh and final season of the Great Show Parks and Recreation. Back-to-back uh, -back episodes will be seen Tuesdays at 8 p.m. over there on NBC. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the lovely Aubrey Plaza, everyone. <laughs> Do you, do you like uh, being outdoors in the Wild West? Yeah, I love the Wild West. Really? The wilder, the 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 wester, the better. <laughs> the wilder, the wester. What does Robert De Niro do in the film? Uh, you know, uh, he plays a grandpa who's looking looking for some action. He but, plays um, a grandpa who's looking. I don't know for what to say action. about it. I, mean, I don't want to get in trouble. But... So my sole purpose in the movie is to have sex with him. And his... Well, really, to have sex with Robert De Niro? Yeah, that's right. Oh, God. <laughs> and, he's um, like, he's f at least four times your age. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Hi. We gave you... Ha has anyone named <laughs> anything after you? Where am I? Wait. Yeah. What? What? I said he has... <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I need a house. All right. Well, then, save. Thanks. Um... <laughs> I love puppies. Do you have puppies? I do. I have two rescue dogs. You really do? Because yeah. you told me over there and I thought you might have been lying. You no, have two I... dogs. Wasn't lying. Okay. For once. For one thing. So, Stevie and Frankie. And Frankie. which one do you love more? <laughs> I won't tell them. I can't say that. <laughs> you do love one of them more? I can't say that. Come on. 
All right, all right. So what? Frankie. What, uh, uh, I don't know. That's good. Yeah, no. they do a lot of tricks. They're really great dogs, and they're mine. <laughs> so. so it's a very full story. Yeah. <laughs> and kind of. Well, one of my houses uh, backed up to the woods, to a cemetery, actually. Mm. Um, so I did a lot of things in there. Uh, I actually don't know what I'm talking about right now. But You're just kind of making stuff up? Yeah. Um, <laughs> no. Now, uh, here's the other thing, and I hope you don't mind talking about this. At 20, you had kind of a, a medical thing happen in your life. At 20. Yes. Um, that's right. I had a stroke when I was 20. I kind of blacked out, and then I wasn't able to talk. I had expressive aphasia um, for the next couple days. Um, and my friends actually thought I was kidding, because I was always doing like weird uh. jokes. And they were like, cut it out. And I was like, <laughs> you know. Me, but I did have a learning specialist um, that they made me meet with once a week, who uh, was also a drag queen. <laughs> so um, we talked about that mostly. Now, did this really happen, or is this part of the stroke? I don't know. You're I'm not sure. not sure if I'm <laughs> having one now. No, no, no just a, but are you on medication? Some sort of a... Oh, I'm on... Oh, no. Not for the <laughs> yeah. But you're feeling fine. Your health is just fine. I feel great, Dave. Okay, good. And, uh, 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 um... You, and also in other films, and you had a stroke. That's what I remember. About. Yes, let's talk about that again. Now that's. I, I, have you had any more since then? Oh yeah. Oh, no. And what did what did they say about that? They said, well, here you you look out. You you might have another one. Or. Uh, that's literally what my doctor said. He said, look out. You might have another. You might have another one. <laughs> <laughs> Just look out. Just look out. <laughs> yep. Really, the doctor actually said, look out. <laughs> that's right. Look good. Well, you, you feel know, good. I'm fine, I guess. Yeah. I live every day uh, in fear. To its oh, to, in fear. <laughs> to its fullest. Please welcome Aubrey Plaza. Whatever. I get asked questions like, if you were a superhero, which one would you want to be? And I just always think of Catwoman because I just love that character and I love the Catwoman movie. You do it. Uh, I mean, I'm just not even going to try no? to get that part. There's just no way in hell they're going to cast me. They're going to get that you out of wanna here. <laughs> let them know right now that you want to be. Why?